Hello YouTube, this is Callum from English Shooting and I've got a real quick product review video for you today. I've got the Ghost Single Stack Magazine holsters for you. As you guys will know, I have a GSG 1911 and they take sting single stack mags and I need magazines for those for the practical style of shooting. Because obviously when you're running and gunning, you need extra magazines, you can't be carrying them in your hands, you can't have them in your pocket, you need them accessible you know, really quickly, really fast with nothing in the way and you need a holster for that with your practical belt. Now as you guys will know I bought this belt and I also, you can just see here, the um, AR-15 holsters as well and I paid my own money for those. I was very lucky that Adam uh, sort of approached me and we've got this sort of partnership with AW Armoury who sell all the ghost stuff and loads of other cool products and he gave me these holsters. So what I want to get in there is although they were given to me, this is a completely honest review. I'm not going to be biased or swayed by him giving me these bits and I do feel a bit cheeky with him giving me these because I was going to buy them. Obviously I bought the GSG, I had the Ghost uh, AR-15 holsters already, I've got the Ghost belt, so I was going to get the Ghost uh, pistol magazine holsters, but he gave them to me. But this video isn't going to be biased, it's going to be my true opinion of these holsters. Now, straight off the bat, as always, I love them. They're, for me, you know, I was looking for holsters, I knew I was going to get these at some point, and obviously Adam gave them to me before I could actually buy them myself. But they offer everything that I want, and they've been everything that I've wanted them to be using them, you know, running around, just general plinking down the range as well. They're just absolutely fantastic. So it's obviously plastic construction. You've got a little spring inside there, which engages with the magazine and it locks in just like that. It's not going anywhere. It's nice and secure. The magazine's not gonna fall out. So you can run all, all around the place and it's gonna be safe and secure. You're not gonna drop anything. What I love about the Ghost stuff, and it's not just these holsters, it's also the, the AR-15 and the shotgun shell caddies as well, but they come with basically a tech lock on the back, their own version of a tech lock. Now, if you don't know what a tech lock is, and I'll get my previous uh, TACOM caddies here, a tech lock is one of these. It bolts onto pretty much any accessory, uh, gives you loads of flexibility on angles, positions and all that, and it clips onto your belt. So this is what you use, the tech lock is what you use to mount things to your belt. This, these and ghost stuff come with one already attached. And you're thinking, okay, well, what about the angle? With the tech lock, you can screw it on and on a different angle. Well, for me, these are even better because mid-match you can go, oh, actually, that's slightly in the way and you just move it. So you can have your magazine in there and go, actually, I just want it slightly off to the side, and even on the belt here, you just move it slightly to the side like that, and you've got it in a different position. The downside to these, this construction, and this sort of uh, belt attachment, is that you need a screwdriver to get them on and off. Now, if you don't have a lot of stuff on your belt, you can just loosen them off a little bit and slide it into position. But actually, my pistol, uh, magazine holsters go between my AR-15 holsters and my caddies. So either I've got to take everything off just to slide them on or I've got to unscrew them. At the end of the day I don't do a huge amount of playing around with positions. Once I've got everything in the position that I want I leave it there. So it's not a huge disadvantage. It is one thing I, I think that the tech locks have over them is that you know, when I'm doing a stage or I'm doing a competition that doesn't require shotgun caddies, you just clip it off and pull it off the belt. You don't even have to take, take the belt off to do it. Whereas obviously this, you would have to. The general construction is really good. It's really tough, solid plastic. They're lightweight, they're small, there's nothing really protruding. And again, that's what makes it, I guess, less of an issue that they just stay on the belt all the time because they don't get in your way. You don't feel the weight and they're actually quite compact. They do a double stack version as well. For those, for those of you that have a, a K22 long barrel pistol, you can get the double stack which will take those magazines and any international viewers that have proper guns, you know, say like a Glock, again, the double stack will take a Glock magazine and this will take a general uh, 1911 magazine. 
the belt attachment on the back can go up to 50 millimeters and just to show that I'm not lying to you guys there you go so it can take quite a big belt it goes on the ghosts no problem at all you also do have a little bit of adjustment if your belt's quite skinny you can just slide that up and, and lock it right into place fantastic little product you can buy them from awarmory.co.uk they're 20 pound 95 so to put that into perspective the tech locks on their own that i have on the tacoms they're like 12 pound so you're getting the whole thing here for 20 quid aw armory is a fantastic company to deal with i've used them many many times even before they started treating me if you, if you really want a single stack or a double stack holster, I really don't think you need to look any further. Just fantastic little products. They do the job brilliantly and no real complaints. So I will be doing other reviews. I did a general video about the gear that I use for practical shooting, which was my practical belt. I will be doing individual reviews of the Ghost Belt and also the AR-15 holsters. I also have some Ghost caddies as well which i will be doing a review of very very shortly so there you go guys i hope you found this video useful thank you very much for watching it and as always i hope to see you soon it's just absolutely incredible and it takes it all day long now you will know that this gun is